Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that d2y by dx squared plus 4y minus sine x equals 0. And given that y equals a half and dy by dx equals 1 eighth at x equals 0, we've got to find a series expansion for y in terms of x up to and including the term in x cubed for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can fast forward to the answer, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, to do something like this requires the use of Maclaurin series. And just as a brief reminder, it's this. OK, the f of x equals f of 0 plus f dash of 0 times x plus f double dash of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared plus f treble dash of 0 over 3 factorial times x cubed and plus and so on. So what I'm going to do is let y equal that function of x. OK, let y equal f of x. And for the first term here, f of 0, we've already got that. When x equals 0, we know that y, or f of 0, would equal 1 half. So that's our first term, a half. As for this second term, f dash of 0, that's essentially the first differential of f of x with respect to x when x is 0. We've got that result. It's here. When x is 0, we know that dy by dx equals 1 eighth. What we haven't got is the second differential, d2y by dx squared, if you like, when x is 0. And we can get that from this equation here by setting x equal to 0. So let's start with that, first of all. If we just say that when x is 0, when x equals 0, what we have got then is that d2y, therefore d2y, by dx squared plus 4 times whatever y is when x is 0. Well, we can see from up here it's a half, so that's going to be 4 times a half. And then we've got minus sine of x. Well, x is 0, so that's the sine of 0. And we're told that equals 0. So this simplifies, OK, to d2y by dx squared. And 4 times half is 2. Sine of 0 is 0. So you've just got plus 2 equals 0. And from this, we've got, therefore, d2y by dx squared must equal minus 2. So that means that, therefore, f double dash, when x is 0, is equal to minus 2. So that's going to give us this term in here. We need to now work out what the third differential of f of x is, d cubed y by dx cubed, in other words. So let's just come down here. And to do that, what I'm going to do is take this equation here, which I'll call 1, all right, and we'll say differentiate that equation 1 with respect to x. Now, if I differentiate d squared y by dx squared with respect to x, that's going to be d cubed y by dx cubed. Now, when it comes to differentiating 4y with respect to x, we differentiate, first of all, with respect to y, which will give us 4 and we multiply it by dy by dx, using the chain rule there, often referred to when we differentiate this as implicit differentiation. When we differentiate sine x with respect to x, we're going to get cos x. So that's, this will now be minus cos x. Differentiating 0 with respect to x just gives us 0. So again, we can see that when we substitute x equals 0 into here, and x equals 0, what are we going to get? Well, this will be d cubed y by dx cubed. 
And then we've got plus 4 times dy by dx when x is 0. Well, we've seen that that is 1 eighth. So we've got 4 times 1 eighth. And then we've got minus the cosine of 0. And that equals the 0 here. Now, if I cancel this term down, we end up with a half here. The cosine of 0, well, that's the same as 1. And so we've got d cubed y by dx cubed. And we've got plus a half minus 1 is minus a half. And if I add that to both sides, I end up with d cubed y by dx cubed equals 1 half. So it follows from this that if I differentiate f of x three times over and let x equal 0, the result is 1 half. So I just need to put my results now into here and this will give us an approximation for y. So therefore what we've got is that y is going to be approximately equal to f of 0 which we've seen is 1 half. Okay. And then for the next term f dash of 0 well, that is dy dx when x is 0, so that's 1 eighth. Okay, so it's going to be plus 1 eighth multiplied by the x. And then we've got f double dash of 0, which was minus 2, so it's going to be minus 2 over 2 factorial multiplied by x squared. And finally, f treble dash of 0, which we've seen here is a half, so it's plus a half multiplied by x cubed and I'll put the 3 factorial under the x cubed and then plus and so on. So simplifying this we therefore have y is approximately 1 half then plus an eighth x or I could write that as x over 8. 2 factorial is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we're just going to be left with minus x squared and then the last term here 3 factorial is 6 times the 2 is 12, so you're going to get plus x cubed over 12, and so on. Okay?